All right, so I finished first, and that was just the first five laps. Now we gotta do the, the last five laps, and now, because I'm running a bit of an advantage with my vehicle, because I'm the only one with a street bike engine, we're gonna run the next, we're gonna start the next five laps inverted. Because I finished first, this time, I now start last. So I start in the back. So this is definitely gonna be interesting. We're gonna see how well my passing skills are. All right, so this is the lineup now. And I am in almost last. Y'all didn't finish, right? I never started. You never started. I was on the uh, dingo with no suspension and slicks, and it was fun for about a lap or two. Yeah. I quit because it was too painful. Honestly, that's more laps than I would have done. Yeah, it was painful. Yeah. I made it uh, about 300 feet. Lost the chain. <laughs> really? Yard cart for off-road race. Oh, man. No big deal. No big deal. Yeah, hey. yeah.
Oh, this thing's 105 degrees Celsius. It's not that bad. Oh, I smell some cooler. Yeah. Got, is this liquid cool? Yeah. Okay, I smell a little bit. Somebody crashed pretty bad. Really? Back there. Like what kind? Like they just what? lost steering and drove into a tree. So, uh, somebody on Dingo. Not Kevin. Not Kevin. Kevin. The other guy. Oh, Kyle. This is Kyle crash. Kyle. I'm I'm like 85% sure I did five laps. I think. Uh, yeah. No, you did. You did. You were uh, <laughs> you were right behind them, and then you were in first, and then. I was sitting on a GoPro battery. This thing was not comfortable. Oh wow! No. Bouncing on that. Oh my gosh. Ouch. Oh, well, at least you still have it. Yeah. I hope that was five laps. I lost count. I'm like, I, I'm like, should I just go for another one? I don't know. I don't know how many laps y'all did. I think everybody's miscounted. Oh, I was way. Uh, yeah. So no wonder this thing got a little hot. Yo, Where does it hook up? Gnarly. Up top? On the the no, radiator hose came exactly off. When that came oh, off. it just yeah, slipped yeah, off. There was a 50 or 100 foot time. streak oh, of liquid yeah, up that very I back last turn. Really? Yeah. I and saw it. I was like, it's someone like, lost something. It, yeah. But it stopped yeah, so quick and everyone was still driving. I didn't know what it was. But I forgot, oh. you, I forgot you were liquid you were, cool. And then once you went, the, the dust went. I was literally riding you out. Oh, you can see all the fluid. Oh Lord, that's not good. <laughs> no wonder it was 109 degrees Celsius on the gauge. That's running a little hot. Oh, it wasn't smoking though. Yeah, it was still running fine. Hopefully, it wasn't off for long. Oh wow, that's because one thing is the temperature gauge, the sensor is not in the engine, the sensor is somewhere right here on the radiator line. So I'm not sure if it was reading a proper temperature. So I, I think it got a little hotter than 109 degrees Celsius. So hopefully I didn't just blow up this engine, but I did, one, I did win first place. So this thing is incredible. It, it is so much fun. It is so hard to handle this thing. It's it's amazing. Final standings for the Backyard 500. Third place, Lonnie from Team Redbeard's Garage. Second place, Bobby on a Yurf dog that really has no business being that fast. <laughs> Thank you. From Tyrannus Customs. First place, Chris, rather be welding on the Grave Ninja. Hey, why don't you put some coolant on that thing and see if uh, if it's dead or not? Yeah, we can do that. Why not? So we made a really awesome trophy for the other race, but for this one, I just had to write backyard 500 on it because we ran out of time. No, uh, Charles, uh, Charles with this. Uh, well, what did he do? Where's Charles? Oh, he spins. Yeah. It does spin. Yeah. Charles made the backyard 500 trophy. It's got the date on the back. And uh, why don't you go ahead and sign it? Cause you won. I left a blank spot. For the okay. Yeah. Congrats, man. Thank you. Woo. Yeah. were really trying the whole time you were just yeah. trying not to hit people and yeah the whole time straight. I was in front of him I was like yeah he could pass me at any moment yeah. I'm just gonna let exactly. him by <laughs> we got the grill going everybody's having fun on go go karts heck yeah man this is why I love doing this stuff you know what kind of job can you have where you just do this kind of stuff and get paid for it yeah. You know? There's that little kid again. He's been riding back and forth all day on his little modified bicycle, I think that thing is. It rained a little bit. I had to throw some tarps over this stuff. Then it stopped raining, thankfully. So. All right, it's the morning of the 27th, and we were supposed to do the little little go-kart race today, and then I was supposed to leave sometime today. Now, I've been having some issues of these weird bumps on my legs, but they really haven't been that bad until I got here, and then they've been getting worse, and my ankles have been swelling. Last night and yesterday, my ankles were really swollen, and then today I wake up like this with my forehead really swollen 
and my eyes just almost swollen shut uh, and a bump on my cheek so and I got a huge bump on my wrist there's one right there my thumb is swollen yesterday my hand was swollen right here and right there I may have I may be having an allergic reaction to something so I may have I may not be able to uh, to do the the second race so crap yeah I don't know what to do so they're all getting ready for the second race the yard cart race and I'm not participating because I had a really bad allergic reaction to something. Something gave me this. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a lot better than what it was this morning. Uh, I can actually see out of this eye now, but my forehead was super swollen. My eye was swollen shut. My legs are... My legs are still swollen. I don't, I don't know what it is. This sucks. I'll be honest. This sucks. So it doesn't look like I'll be able to participate in the second race. I think the heat is uh, aggravating all this stuff. So I did go. I did go to the uh, urgent care this morning. They had no idea what it was. They prescribed prednisone to help get rid of the inflammation. They gave me this cream to help with the itching. So yeah, this. This, this sucks. And I was supposed to go to, I was supposed to leave today after this race. I was supposed to leave uh, sometime today or tonight for Durham Town, which is six hours away, and go to Durham Town with Dirt Gear TV and be there for four days. And now I'm not really sure if I can do that because of this. Because, you know, this riding and sweating outside is making this worse. You know, I've these I've had these bumps for two weeks now. They're not that bad, and being outside, sweating, getting bumped around is making all these bumps and swelling worse. So, and I actually actually first started getting these bumps the second day at the Redneck Rumble, and then they weren't bad. They were only on my legs. They itch like crazy, but they weren't terrible. And then when I got home from the Redneck Rumble, they were still there. They weren't terrible. But then when I came here and now I'm sweating, I have, you know, a huge jacket on. I have a helmet on. I'm sweating. I'm outside. It's getting bumped around. It, it seems like these bumps are, uh, they, uh, they manifest from when I get hit on my skin. Because on where I shift on my foot on the ninja, on the Grave Ninja, that's where I have a bump. My helmet is super tight on my head, on my forehead and ears, and now my forehead and ears are swollen. Uh, there's parts on my knees where my where my knees hit the frame. Now those are swollen and have bumps. So it seems like these bumps aren't, it's not a cause. They're not caused by bumps, but it's triggered by these kind of bumps. So they're, they're doing the race right now. Let me, let, let's go film. Let's go check out what they're doing. Dang, that thing cooks. <laughs> Did 
Just leave it in first. Is that gonna be the good this one? This might be the fastest car out here. That thing cooks. Vasily's on my little blue two-speed go-kart. Janky cable didn't work. Did it kill it? Hey, don't go fast around this one. That's the tippy one. That's the tippy one. <laughs> he rolls the Odyssey. Yeah, boy. Yeah. The concentration. Getting I'm glad it. he's like, feeling it out a little bit. <laughs> he's got more than this. It doesn't really rotate. No. It's just fun. <laughs> that open dip action. Look at him. <laughs> Look at his smile on his face. I know. You can't even be mad. I know. you. It's like... <laughs> like you're trying your best, buddy. Oh. You're doing your best. <laughs> Double, yeah. You can do it, but your mom probably wants your band back. <laughs> Come on, give it more beans. No, 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 no more beans. Okay. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> no. Someone, I okay. Track. He signed it, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. All right, John's calling it. No more. <laughs> <laughs> lot fee. <laughs> All right, so Vasily is trying the CBR 1000 buggy. Unfortunately, even after the even after the transmission swap, it still pops out of second gear. So that kind of sucks. So I stuck it in high range for him, and, and a little bit of gas, a little bit, little bit of gas. Is a rocket ship, isn't it? It's it takes it like yeah. It it doesn't care like it, no it doesn't care about any bumps. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. That's crazy. 
<laughs> Dude, you are getting on it. This thing is insane. It rides like a cloud. Really appreciate you for giving me the opportunity. Yes. Uh, John needs to yes. test this out. I want to get John on it. Unfortunately, I can't try it. He's down. Yo, I'm gonna have to. I, I'm gonna have to copy some aspects on this build. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let me take it for one more. Yeah. Dude, the, the coolest thing is when you get on it, the entire suspension just picks up. Bro, I wanted a wheelie. Really? Yeah. I had to... Not... Is that somebody yelling? Are there neighbors over there? Huh? Are there neighbors over there? Are there ones over there? Yeah. Yeah, there probably is a whole neighborhood. Because I just heard a, a woman yell, please stop. Oh, really? I don't think so. I don't know. It's up to you. Probably the target. It, I, this thing didn't even sound that loud from the outside. Oh, I, I heard this from inside the house. Yeah. Yeah, you were pinging it off the rev limiter. <laughs> yeah. All four tires are still on the ground. That's like three feet down <laughs> clear. Is this tire? Yeah, it's on the ground. Heck yeah. And if I take that sway bar off, it'll it'll keep going, dude. <laughs> First gear. I absolutely love this thing. It's so much fun. <laughs> 